Few items are as elegantly tied to their own history as the sea of clocks collected here at Delaney Antique Clocks in West Townsend. It started in England. My father was teaching on an Air Force base and my mom was with the Red Cross. They met there and it was a time in England where it was out with the old and in with the new and antiques were really inexpensive. Um, they bought one tall clock uh, for not a lot of money back then. That was a couple hundred years old. Um, and I think that started the passion. That passion would survive a trip across the pond where the family would settle in Townsend and start this business that now spans three generations. A fact not lost on Sean Delaney. I'm buying back things that my dad sold 40 years ago to be in business with, with my brother and now, now his son and maybe my son. It's just a great thing. It's very special. Though his father's passion was born overseas, many of the clocks here were made in Massachusetts thanks to a very special family of makers. The most recognized name in uh, New England clocks are the Willard clocks and there were four brothers that started in Grafton, Massachusetts. Simon Willard became very famous because he invented the banjo clock that came at a fraction of a price of a of a tall case clock back in 1790. Owning a real Willard clock like the ones made for his friends Thomas Jefferson and James Madison requires some careful research. Typically it wouldn't be signed on the dial, it'd be signed on, on the glass and there's so many little things that uh, um, need to be looked at. This clock here is interesting. With clocks, the history is often hidden in the details. Co-owner John Delaney walks us through the secrets of this Aaron Willard Jr. masterpiece. It features an automated dial with a ship that rocks back and forth with the motion of the pendulum. The hidden treasure of this clock, other than the fact that it's beautiful, is the label inside the door here it was thought to have been engraved and printed by Paul Revere. Time to play detective. See if you can spot John Delaney's candidate for rarest clock in the shop. Okay, time's up. And the winner? Simon Willard was a prolific maker of clocks. And one of the last clocks that he sort of designed and invented is called the Lighthouse Clock. And this is a really good representation of that form. It's thought that he made less than 160 of these. And there are probably less than 100 that have survived. A piece of unique clock making history, reinforcing the fact that you never know what you'll find if you take the time to look. And as experts on local clocks with history, local clocks, that is, the Delaney brothers have been on the Antiques Roadshow for many years. Sean Delaney tells the story of someone bringing in a duffel bag, pulling out an Aaron Willard shelf clock that was worth $125,000. We're out of time. I'm Anthony Everett. I'm Shana. Good night.